Hi, this is Shelley Craft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're coming to you from the Cambridge House Resource Conference 2012, right here in Vancouver. I have Irfan Kazimi from Sandstorm Gold Limited, symbol SSL on the TSX Venture. Welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for having me, Shelley. Much appreciated. It's good to have you. Okay, let's get right into Sandstorm. I like the name. It's a great name and it has a great business model as well. What we do is something called commodity stream financing. So we have two companies, Sandstorm Gold and Sandstorm Metals and Energy. But essentially what we do is we provide an upfront payment to our partners and in return we get a contract. And that contract states that we're entitled to a certain percentage of that production from the mine for the life of the mine, for as long as the mine continues. When do you offer them this contract? I know that it can't be from the time they find the hole, right? That's a great question. And uh, we usually have the discussions with our partners pretty early on, but we tend to look for uh, companies that are in the advanced development or producing stage. So producing stage means they've already got offtake agreements, they're taking, they're milling it, they're mining it, right? Yeah, a variety of different uh, stages, but that tends to be the, the stage that we've uh, entered into agreements. We have seven commodity streams in our gold company. Five of them are producing right now and entering the ramp-up phase. And then we still have a couple more that uh, are a little bit down the road. And uh, once they start producing, we'll have uh, significant uh, uh, cash flows coming in. So if I'm a junior exploration company and I'm not interested in selling out and I want to build my own mining company from my exploration company, would you be a company I could go to instead of having get financing from a finance company, would you be considered alternative financing? Yes, we consider ourselves more than just alternative financing. We, we know that uh, the studies we've done that we're a lot safer and faster than debt and we're a lot more uh, creative to uh, your shareholders if you're the other company uh, than you would be than issuing equity. And uh, we work with our partners to ensure that their uh, projects come online and it's uh, it's a it's a model that we followed over the last years. Our CEO is a former CFO of Silver Wheaton, and they took a proven and probable model from, uh, from Silver Wheaton when it came just to silver and expanded to precious metals and also into other forms. So base metals, oil and gas, and uh, thermal metallurgical coal, so a variety. You know, I like the model. I, I like the model because it's really helpful. Now, there's no usury in business. So how do you compare monetarily, expense-wise, to a company who takes your money? That's a great question in the sense that we uh, limit all the risk from our uh, investors of what you find from a traditional mining company. And the, how we do that is we uh, have in our contracts, essentially for gold uh, commodity streaming, we're saying something along the lines of, we're only gonna pay $400 an ounce uh, for that uh, mine project for the life of the mine. So regardless of what the operating costs are at the mine, what um, those uh, cash costs are, if there's cost creep and mining is in tourists for that, we're always going to pay $400 an ounce. And so what we do is we look at the, we get that, uh, that ounce of gold, we sell it on the spot market, and uh, the profit that we realize based on today's uh, uh, metal prices is about $1,200 an ounce. So you can see right there, regardless of what's happening with the mine, if there's, um, they're going up through the ramp-up phase, if they've got negative cash flows, if they've got commissioning costs, we're still always is paying $400 an ounce for that uh, for that gold. So it's uh, it uh, significantly reduces the risk side for our investors. So then the risk to the gold mining company is the length that you're going to be able to receive gold at 400 an ounce, correct? So we structure our contracts in a variety of different ways and they tend to be very flexible and we look at the expected cash costs. So a few years ago $400 an ounce would have been a proxy for a low cost producer for gold. But uh, when we go through the no negotiations we look at what are those expected cash costs and how we can incorporate it so the stream is never a burden on the property. Ah, that's well said. So then basically speaking there's probably no limitation as to how much money you would actually give a company based on their ability to pay it back via gold. 
Right. When we started the company a couple of years ago, the um, uh, the size of transactions were in the 20, 30, 40 million dollar range. And now we look at larger multiples. And as we continue to grow, um, we're definitely seeing a lot more expansion of the opportunities that we have and the ability to invest in our partners. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this is a very interesting discussion for me, your interviewer. And I hope you're happy with the questions that I'm asking because I'm drilling down a little bit here, yes, you know, because I think people are interested because a lot of companies do business with you. And from an investor standpoint, you're answering questions that they may have had uh, as to what the company that they have an investment in does. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Shelley. Website. Our website is uh, www.sandstormltd, that's for limited, dot com. And the symbol is, it's a public company, too. So it's SSL on the TSX Venture. This is Irfan Kazimi. What a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Very Thank informative. You. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.